Hello and welcome to Keeping Up With, where today we keep up with the 1975. If you didn't already know, I'm a big admirer of the 1975's music. I consider their first two albums vinyl worthy, and while their next two aren't quite vinyl worthy, they still brought us some of the best music I've heard in recent times. 2022 marked the return of the band with Being Funny in a Foreign Language, and let's get right into it. Yep, it's vinyl worthy alright. My overall thoughts are that this album is very consistent. The production throughout is notably fantastic and the songs themselves are all in the upper echelons of quality. Their previous album, Notes on a Conditional Form, was their longest album at 1 hour 20 minutes long and gave us the most varied collections of tracks spanning pop, electronic, country, shoegaze, orchestral and even post-hardcore. While I loved their confidence to put it out there and found enjoyment from all the styles, a few of the songs failed to grip me, yet for the ones that did, I loved them, and I still consider it to be a great album. Alright, let's go into the tracks. The 1975, I don't think we're ever going to get an opener named anything different at this point, and on this edition it feels like a follow-on from Greta Thunberg in that it's reaching out to the future generations, but at this time in a defeatist way instead of a call to action, like on the previous one. It's an analysis of what negativity has braced the world in recent years, and for that, Matty is sorry for those who will have to live through it with his line, I'm sorry if you're living and you're 17, repeating over and over again. The second track, Happiness. My initial reaction when I first heard the first 20 seconds of the track was one of happiness, I guess you could say. I'm yet to hear them make a song in this style that I didn't consider to be one of their best, at this point, when a sax is around, you know it's going to be great. What I like about this track is that, despite the name of it, it's not absolutely over the top with joy in any way, but it's more like a contentness, and I think that it's a good explanation of what happiness is for most people, is that it's not this unsustainable joy that you get, but more of a peaceful contentness. The next track, Looking for Somebody to Love, is a consistent follow-on from happiness, we're grooving, but the orchestral elements that were on the first track return, making it a really interesting blend of instrumentation. Next up is one of the singles, and it's part of the band. I love that they chose this as a single. It's almost like an anti-single, with its chorus being more delicate and softer than the verses, which we hardly get to see in modern day charting music. The lyrics are a standout here also. On O Caroline, the production is killer. Everything cuts through in the mix. I especially love the tone of the keys, the bass and the drum fills in this one. The production in this track is just phenomenal. Next up is another single, I'm In Love With You, and this is the band at their most earwormy. I like to compare this with O Caroline and how this song is a lot simpler in its arrangement. O Caroline was a lot busier instrumentally, however this track has a lot more space to work with, which is usually occupied by the backing overdubs. So with the first six tracks, they've really kept the energy building and sustained it. It's been a brilliant opening six tracks. Next up, we have a simple and soulful track with All I Need To Hear, which is well placed for the middle of the album to give it a new feel. We continue with that feel into the rest of the tracks, starting with Wintering. Now, I hate Christmas music, but if we are putting this in the Christmas music category, then I may need to change my thoughts on that. The 12 string guitar is great on this track, I love it, and also what stands out to me of course is the lead guitar tone on this. Next up is probably my least favourite track of the album, Human 2. It does have room to grow on me, but I can't deny that if I was to pick one track to get rid of then it would be this track off the album. But it's definitely not a skipper by any means. On About You, they managed to fit in some shoegaze and it works so well for me here. It gives me feelings of it's the end of the world, but let's just remember the good times we had. A standout on this track is the guest vocalist Carly Holt, who leads the bridge on it, and Holt is actually the wife of Adam Han, who is the guitarist of the band, and I really look forward to hearing more from her potentially on more 1975 tracks, as I absolutely love her voice. I'm definitely going to be checking out more of whatever project she's involved with. I'm loving the pan drums and the way they blend together the lead guitar's distortion with the horns at the end. Oh, it's so good. 
it's a phenomenal track. It also would have worked great as a finale if When We Are Together wasn't on here, but it is on here and my only criticism of this track is that it does feel like it's abrupt to end on. It left me wanting more for sure, but that's mostly because I was having such a good time throughout the album. The lyrics on this are a standout. The line Central Park is SeaWorld for Trees sticks out for me as a favourite lyric. I need to draw attention to the many additional people involved in this record, such as Jack Antonov, who is a big proponent of the sound of this record, it seems. And also there is big names such as Warren Ellis, who is a strings legend. He is known for working with Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds. But along with those is all of the other people who have worked on this record. There's so many people that have been involved in this record and I just gotta say that they knocked it out of the park on this one. It's a fantastic album. To summarise being funny in a foreign language, we have a more refined and reined in collection of songs. At around 43 minutes long, any fat seems to have been cut on this. Perhaps on the deluxe version we will see if the band were playing around with any more experimental ideas or maybe that they will come back again on future releases. All I know is that I look forward to any future endeavours that any of these guys embark upon. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this, and I would like to hear from you about any of your own opinions on this album. Let me know your thoughts, I'm always interested, and bye 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 bye.